Welcome to Minnesota 4-H's 4 for 4 series. Here's how it works. A 4-H youth, that's me, asks four questions in four minutes to a 4-H alumni about life and their and the career they love. My name is Blake, and I'm from Lyon County. I currently serve as a Minnesota 4-H state ambassador, and today I get to interview David Fowler. He was the founder and CEO of Chartio, which he has sold two years ago to Alasian and a current Minnesota 4-H alumni. Hi, Dave. I'm excited to talk to you. Likewise, Blake. Pleasure to meet you. I hear that four minutes goes by quick, so we better get started. Okay. My first question is, what skills do you learn from 4-H that help you with your entrepreneurial endeavors? So two big categories. One's project skills. Um, 4-H allowed me to really be creative in my work, uh, bringing a project to the fair and having to present it and going deep and showing my creativity, showing it to a lot of people, uh, really gave me a lot of confidence and excitement in doing that. Uh, and I think that's hugely important for entrepreneurship. Uh, and that that kind of aligns really better for entrepreneurs than, than the school structure of success. So like 4-H, making a good project that people like and presenting it well is, is directly lines up to uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, and the second is leadership. Um, you know, as club president at a young age and then county president and getting to work with and lead so many other kids and sometimes adults uh, was really, really uh, rewarding and and great experience for later managing a lot of people. My second question now is how did 4-H help you in discovering your passions? Yeah, the project structure really helped um, me go deeper. So when I was a kid, I liked to tinker in my grandpa's workshop, uh, which maybe would have gone nowhere had had. 4-H not given this platform to say, hey, actually, I'm going to make a project for the fair. And so every week I would go to my grandpa's, uh, sorry, every year I would go for a week to my grandfather's and we would build a project together and bring it to the fair. And obviously still I would work today um, uh, thanks to all the skills and that, that he taught me. Uh, a second is computers. And my whole career was in software. And my mom was a software engineer and she taught me how to code and we never maybe would have gone through all the time and effort to sit down and her to teach me all those skills uh, had there not been the fair, had there not been projects to bring it. And I, I might have never completed a project had I not had a deadline either. Uh, and so I think that was hugely important. Who's had the greatest influence on you up until now? I've been lucky to have a lot of great mentors and friends and peers, um, but still nobody can hold a candle to my parents as far as you know, the influence they've had over me. I had really active, wonderful parents. They, they were leaders in our 4-H club. And I think that gave me a unique experience where, where a lot of modern families don't, don't have ways anymore for kids to work with parents and interact with society like while they're doing stuff together. Uh, and I was just all the time doing things with my parents and volunteering places and doing other club activities with my parents and other parents I remember the exposure. My dad was on the county board when I first got on the county board and, you know, he would drive me to the meetings and we would, we would talk about all the different things leadership wise and decision wise and, and people wise uh, that I was getting exposed to in those meetings. And uh, that was just like so influential and impactful for me. And I don't know if there would, I don't know of a lot of other avenues to get that kind of experience with your parents. What advice would you have for today's 4-Hers and youth? I'd say try a lot of projects that you're not sure if you would like uh, and get exposed. A uh, uh, popular opinion today is, is that you get good at things that you like doing. Um, but I think the reverse is actually the truth. And a lot of science shows that, that you start liking things that you get good at uh, instead. And so go get good at a bunch of things. Talk to leaders around you. Talk to people with experience with things. And, and those, those are the 4-H leaders around you and your family. They, they really want to teach you things. So, so look for the skills that they have and go learn those. Uh, and it'll be really, really rewarding for you. Uh, and you'll pick up new hobbies and passions and skills. Well, Dave, our time is already up. So thank you for talking to me today. I really enjoyed learning about your 4-H story and your career path. Is there anything you want to say? Uh, thanks a lot. Thank you. This has been Minnesota 4-H's 4 for 4 See you next time.